It's the story that we are living. It's the story that you read. It's the story in the Gospels about God and you and me. So let's learn together. Come on, let's have some fun. Let's all learn together because God is number one. All stories point to the big story in me. Once upon a time, there lived a mother and her three little pigs. She named them Good Pig, Wise Pig, and Peaceful Pig. Good Pig was obedient and honest. Wise Pig was thoughtful and observant, and Peaceful Pig was kind and joyful. They were all nice pigs, although a bit lazy. Whenever their mother would ask for help around the house, they would say, "But mother, I stub my toe, and it simply hurts too much to walk." Or Mother, I woke too early this morning and absolutely must lay down for a nap. Once their mother was done cleaning, they would run straight outside to play. One year, food became scarce around the house, and the pigs only saw corn cobs and cabbage soup on the table for supper. The pigs had long since come of age, and so Mother Pig told them, "I can care for you no longer, my piggies, by the hair of my chinny chin chin." It is time for you to build your own houses to live in. You must be good and peaceful, but above all, be wise. For there are many dangers out there, and the big wolf is among them. Good pig, wise pig, and peaceful pig had heard of the big wolf during bedtime stories. He was five times their size, with black fur and teeth sharp enough to bite right through them. They had never seen the big wolf and hoped they never would. Even so, they kissed their mother, gathered their packs, and skipped merrily along their way. While they were traveling, they met a fox who sold straw by the road. He called out, "My good piggies, I have the finest straw you have ever seen. It is sturdy enough for a house and stable enough for strong winds." Peaceful pig nodded and smiled, and wise pig considered the fox's words. But good pig remembered his manners and said, "Well, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, this straw looks good enough to live in." Remember, good pig was also lazy and wanted to find a house quickly, and so, without considering if the straw could really withstand strong winds, he bought the lot. He built a small house out of the straw and spent the rest of the evening playing games with his brothers. The next morning, Good Pig waved goodbye to his brothers, and they skipped merrily along their way. While they were traveling, they met two rabbits quarreling over some sticks. We should sell the sticks for two coins. No, no, no. We should sell for half a coin. Back and forth they argued, with Wise Pig and Peaceful Pig looking on. Finally, Peaceful Pig interrupted. Peace to you, my rabbit friends. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, these sticks look good enough to live in. Oh yes, yes, they are sturdy enough for a house and stable enough for strong winds. Well, my dear rabbits, how about we fight no longer and settle the matter? I will buy the sticks for one coin. Remember, Peaceful Pig was also lazy and wanted to find a house quickly, and so, without considering if the sticks could really withstand strong winds, he bought the lot. He built a small house of sticks and spent the evening playing games with his brother. In the morning, Peaceful Pig waved goodbye, and Wise Pig skipped merrily away. As Wise Pig was traveling, he considered all of the events over the last two days. He considered the quickly built houses and the laziness of himself and his brothers. Finally, he said to himself, "By the hair of my chinny chin chin, maybe my brothers were a bit too hasty in building a house to live in. What if my mother pig is right and the big wolf is looking for a meal tonight? I declare by my little hairs, I will no longer be a lazy pig, but will build a house that is strong and big." Soon he found some bricks on the side of the road, and Wise Pig did work hard. He spent three long days building his house, and when it was done, he could rest. All this while, the big wolf was, in fact, 
looking for a meal. He had heard there were three little pigs roaming around, and he searched far and wide to find them. All the while he searched, he mumbled to himself, Bacon and pork pies, chops, ribs and ham thighs. Piggy, little piggy, I want meat. Eventually, the big wolf found the first little straw house. It looked quite unsteady and shook this way and that as the wind blew. He stood outside the door and could smell the fresh little piggy moving about inside the straw house. He knocked on the door and growled, Little piggy, little piggy, let me in. Good Pig looked out the window and saw the big wolf. Oh, how scared he was. The big wolf was just as scary as the bedtime stories described. Five times their size, with black fur and teeth sharp enough to bite right through him. Good Pig began to run around squealing loudly. Oh no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <sighs> the big wolf took a great deep breath and blew Good Pig's house right over his head. The good little pig, so obedient but so unwise, barely escaped the wolf's grasp. He ran away, squealing loudly to his brother's house. Big Wolf followed, mumbling to himself. Bacon and pork pies, chops, ribs and ham thighs. Piggy, little piggy, I want meat. And now instead of one, I get two. When he got to the house made of sticks, he saw it also was quite unsteady and shook this way and that with the wind. He called out from the door, Little piggies, little piggies, let me come in. This time, both Good and Peaceful Pig hugged each other tightly, scared out of their wits. They squealed out together. Oh no, not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <sighs> the big wolf took a great deep breath and blew the house right over their heads. That peaceful little pig, so kind but so unwise, barely escaped with his brother from the wolf's grasp. They ran away squealing to their brother's house. Big Wolf followed, mumbling to himself. Bacon and pork pies, chops, ribs and ham thighs. Piggy, little piggy, I want meat. And now instead of two, I get three. When he got to the house made of bricks, he saw this one was quite steady. Although the wind blew, it stood firm. The wolf was not deterred. He called out from the door. Little piggies, little piggies, let me come in. Good and peaceful pig again hugged each other tightly. They squealed and shook in fear. But wise pig, having learned his lesson and become quite confident, was not afraid of the wolf. He called out, We will not let you in, wolf, not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. You can huff, you can puff, but you will not blow this house in. He did huff and puffed and he huffed again and puffed and a third time he huffed and puffed. But as much as he tried, he could not blow the house in. The wolf became very angry and began mumbling to himself, Piggy, little piggy, I want meat. If I cannot blow your house down, I'll find another way in. Now, the big wolf was strong, but he was rash and rather unwise himself. So when he saw the chimney, he thought it was his chance to get into the little pig's house. He didn't notice the small bit of smoke billowing out of it. He climbed the house, then the chimney, and slid his big body right down the chimney, all in a matter of seconds. That foolish wolf slid himself right into a pot of boiling water Wise Pig had put on for supper. The wolf howled out in pain, jumped up, and clawed his way like a cat back out of the chimney. He ran away clutching his burnt bottom and not even thinking about pork pies.
The piggies all hugged each other, chanting, Not by the hairs of our chinny-chin-chin. This strong house did not let that big wolf in. Good and peaceful pig learned their lesson that day. They learned that obedience and kindness is even better with wisdom. Together, they worked hard and rebuilt their own houses out of bricks like their wise brother. This time, if the big wolf or any other scary creature would pay them a visit, they would be quite ready. The end. Hi, I'm Evie. And I'm going to tell you all about the big story. The story of creation, fall, redemption, and restoration. This is the story that we all live in. We live somewhere about here. Now, how do the three little pigs fit into the big story? Let's find out together. First, let's look at the characters. We have Mother Pig and her three sons. Good Pig, oink oink. Wise Pig, oink oink. And Peaceful Pig. And they were all nice pigs, but they were lazy. They never wanted to help their mommy and they always wanted to take the easy way out. Don't forget our last character. The Big Wolf! <laughs> Do you remember what happens in the story? The three pigs had to leave home and make a new home for themselves and they all chose different materials to build their houses. Good Pig built his house out of... Straw. Sure. Uh-huh. Peaceful Pig built his house out of... Do the same as his brothers? Or did he do something different? Something different. Wise Pig saw that his brother's houses were not very strong and he wanted a strong house. So he built his house out of. had built their houses, the big wolf came. And he's so strong, he huffed <gasps> and puffed. <sighs> and he blew good pigs and peaceful pigs' houses right over their heads. But not Wise Pig. He couldn't blow Wise Pig's house away. Do you remember the ending? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny! That silly wolf climbed up into the chimney and burnt his bottom on a pot of boiling water! <laughs> How do these funny pigs and silly wolf point to the big story? Well, did you know that we all have big wolves in our lives? Not real wolves. Well, maybe you have real wolves. But the wolves I'm talking about are the bad things in our lives. Maybe Big Brother keeps being mean to you. Or maybe Mommy and Daddy are fighting a lot. Or maybe somebody important to you isn't there anymore. There are many bad things that can happen. 
things that make us feel sad or angry. When bad things happen, we can feel like our house has been blown right away. We can feel hurt in our hearts. And we can cry. Do you know what the Bible says? It says that Jesus is like a strong house. Even when something bad happens and strong winds blow, He will take care of us. It is good to be obedient like good pig and kind like peaceful pig. But the Bible says lots and lots and lots of times that we should be wise. If we are wise, we will know that what Jesus says in the Bible is true and we will trust him when bad things happen. Do you want to do the Bible verse with me? I am the way. I am the way. The truth. The truth. And the life. And the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. John chapter 14, verse 6. That's what Jesus said. Do you believe Jesus is the truth? Do you believe Jesus can be your strong house that will take care of you? He loves you so much. He is sad when you cry and promises that one day, if you believe in him, you can be together with him in a place where no bad things happen anymore. Oh, I can't wait for that day. It will be so cool to see Jesus. Before we say goodbye, do you want to pray with me? Dear Jesus, can you be our strong house? Can you help us believe in you and trust that you will take care of us when bad things happen? Thank you for your promise that one day you will rescue us and we won't have to see bad things anymore. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, that's all my time today. Stay tuned for some pretty cool pictures my friends drew from the story. Maybe you can draw one too and ask your mommy or daddy to send it to us on Instagram and we'll post it on our feed. Also, if you didn't notice, Lambie was hiding somewhere in the video. <laughs> See if you can find him and comment below where he is. Okay, friends. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Meditas Feature Stories for Kids. That point to the Meta Narrative. The big story about Jesus. Check out our content and podcast form on iTunes or Spotify. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can make more awesome videos. Bye bye.